G'day Tankers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Domianga21, and today I've brought you a battle in my M46 pattern. Um, I recently got the pattern, uh, well not that recently, it was about a month ago. I've been slowly grinding it. I've got pretty much everything except for the top engine, um, which I'm kind of looking forward to because this tank currently feels a bit sluggish, but it's not bad at all. Um, I'm actually, I think it's actually way better than the Pershing for one. Um, the gun, even though it does oh, close to double the damage, um, has a little bit faster reload. Like the, um, I found the Pershing towards the end, the eight second reload was no good, and this has got about a seven point nine second reload. So I just don't get, I don't get that. I reckon the Pershing should have a six second reload, or even seven. Seven would be amazingly better. But the great thing about um, all these American tanks is their gun depression. And uh, the pattern doesn't disappoint. It's got very nice, I believe it's 8 degrees of gun depression. I might be wrong, it could be 10. Um, I, I sure really should research these things, but I'm not actually that worried or serious about these things. Um, I'm more into this for fun. Uh, the turret front isn't as strong as a lot of American mediums earlier on with the large, large um, oh, what do you call it, mantle? I uh, can't remember. Sorry, it's it's, it's early in the morning. I've, I'm a bit sleep deprived because my daughter's been sick, and uh, I'm not all there. If you get my meaning, those with kids would probably understand. Um, the turret's not bad though. It's fairly sloped. You've got some issues around the cheeks near where the uh, little emblems are, which kind of look like eyes. Think about it. But anyway, um, yeah, big cupola at the top, but. If you shoot at this tank, you can shoot anywhere, pretty much, if you've got a decent penetrating gun, and you'll get into it. Um, best defense of this tank is to keep keep yourself a small target, so hold down, keep your narrow turret, because if you look at the turret, it's quite narrow compared to the Centurion beside me, it's probably an extra third in thickness. There's another one, um, yeah, there's that T57, I believe it's a T57. I think that's a T57. I don't know what I've done. I've recently changed my mod and I've stuffed it up and I don't know what's going on. Clicking now and you see pictures of the tanks. That's really frustrating. Um, I'm going to have to change it at some stage, but I'm a bit lazy at the moment because I've just I've not had the time and will be bothered. Um, so, yeah. Well, we'll get this started. Um, as you can see, 8.2 seconds. Sorry, not um, 7.9. This might have been when my crew was still at 90-ish percent. Um, should be near at 100% now. Um, nicely enough, we've now got three skills. Um, we now, uh, actually, it's, it's funny, um, I, I never used to keep crews because I never realised you could transfer them. Um, so I used to get rid of like 80 and 90% crews, uh, which was really stupid of me. Um, I have learnt since then that it's great to keep crews. In fact, my French lot to heavy tank line I've had my crew since tier 4, and um, I'm near the end of tier 5, and I've, I'm close to having my first skill, um, almost at about, well, it's about 90% at the moment, so, which is really nice. Um, I actually, so far, I really hate that um, line so far, I, it's just, as you, as you know from some of my replays, I like tanks with good gun depression, and I like fast tanks, and nothing that that's line is fast at this stage. I have heard the ARL um, and up gets better with, in terms of speed than the BDR. The BDR I just don't like. Um, just, the gun handling is pretty average. Um, I can't snapshot. I'm a snapshot shot player. I, I like to take my snapshots. It just, it just can't. It's got to the aim time. However, this tank... It's very good for its um, its snapshotting because the aim time. Well, if you look at it, my target reticule is not the bloom is not that bad. It's because this tank has got one of the best um, on the move accuracies in the game. Uh, some actually say this tank is actually better than the tier 10 equivalent, the M48. Um, Having to play that one, I can't can't confirm or deny that allegation, but it wouldn't surprise me from a lot of the hate I see on the forums from the M48. 
which is a bit sad because the M48 has an interesting um, history as a battle tank. Um, not that I know a lot of it, I know it was involved in a number of uh, conflicts across the world, uh, not necessarily in the hands of the American uh, forces. Um, lot, apparently Israel, um, Palestine used them during, those, uh, during that time. Uh, the Arab League uh, during that time as well used them. This is what I like about the gun. The, the, the alpha damage is good. You can pull back, shoot. Um, it's, it's not like the Pershing. The Pershing's alpha damage was anemic, and it was really difficult to actually get a shot. This is the great thing about it as well. You can get you can get over stuff pretty quickly. I put a that was too angled for a shot, but it was worth it. It's worth a go. Okay, shot. Let's let's go for him. The key to fighting E100s I found is. Wait for them to fire, then move in on them. So you've got about 15 seconds to give it a go. Now we're just trying to keep our backside tucked in there, because there's another... What was that? That was a AMX 50B. Yeah, we don't want that unloading on us at this stage. Um, we've only done two hits so far, but it's, it's good to be conservative this early on. I mean, you don't want to go out there and just get, as, get a thousand damage and then die. I mean... The longer you survive in this game, the more damage you'll actually start doing. This is a... I actually consider the 50B far more dangerous than the um, E100, especially since you can see that the um, the player in the 50B is a far better player. So we're going to come out, and we're going to pop him in the head, and we hit the gun. That was pretty unfortunate, but we'll take him out in a second. There we go, and we didn't actually get that kill, sadly, but that happens. Um, but we'll take out our fair share on this E100. Even angled, the uh, E100's uh, rear isn't the best armoured. Um, still good, but it's not the best. This E100 um, extended far too forward. Um, as you can see from the map, yeah, as you can see from the map, we're actually not doing very well over here. I mean, we've got all these tanks down here, and most of our tanks, you can see, dead here, dead here, dead over here, dead here. I don't know what this guy was doing. It's all the way over there for no reason. Um, so, right now, we've got us four up here, the E100 STI-228 prototype and myself. We've got an M41 Bulldog over here, who's run away from this blo bunch of blokes, and the, that's, he has every right to. He's a light tank, he's not really meant to be doing that sort of thing. Um, I'm not in a good way though, I've lost half my health due to the mistake I made up there with the MS 50B. Um, but that happens. So, we're about to see some more action. Any moment now we run into another pat pattern. So we're going to get hull down, there's a little, there's a little outcrop over here. Outcrop? Oh, I don't know. Ledge? It's something. It'll do. Although we start to go up it, I don't know why we're going up it. But he's going to go into the calf and we'll pop him. Shit. We miss, but he misses as well, which is fortunate. Um, we want to avoid taking any hits as po if possible. So we pop him a one hit. There's the pattern again. So a thousand damage. Luckily, we've got an E100 here to help us out. Um, that's the thing about an E100. Even when the uh, tank's mostly damaged, it's a scary tank to, to look at. We just uh, take out the IS3, which is good. And now let's finish this guy off. Oh, he hits us, which is not good. My kill. <laughs> Thought someone rammed him there. Oh, and he could have easily have shot us. 
Apparently that guy didn't like the fact that he was tracked. M41 Bulldog's going to take that guy out. He'll have to turn the quarter later, I'd say. Um, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm looking forward to that tank. Um, the problem is just the tanks before it. I'm not really, I don't really like... It's the M, it's the M5 um, Stuart. The auto motor on it is crap. It's, if, it's literally one shot and it fires five shells. You don't get to, you don't get to choose when you fire those shells. It just goes bang, 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 bang. What's with that? That's awful. If I wanted, that, it's pretty much an auto loader with one with one clip, a one shell clip. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I, I I'm I'm looking to grind XP to skip that that tank. The Chaffee looks okay. The um, T T or the yeah, T37 looks okay. Um, we'll see how we go with those. Um, I'm actually since getting the ELC, as you would have seen from my previous video, I'm actually really enjoying my um, light tanks right now. Uh, just. I, d I just seem to have developed a, uh, a thinking pattern of for mo mobile play, which is why I like, which is why I've always liked mediums. I've always preferred to be mo more mobile and be able to affect um, the battle more by being being able to relocate and be where I need to be. Um, and I think that to become a better player, I need to learn to be there before things start happening because um, I certainly know I'm not a bad player I'm not I'm not a great player by uh, even comparing uh, a lot of players out there in fact I'm probably better than most of the player base but again I reiterate I, I'm not a great player um, so this 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 battle has pretty much gone from what we thought was, was probably going to be a loss to a possible win at this stage um, what what's something is what really great is the M41 Bulldogs on his own, which is fine. Um, but we've all stuck together. Although we're probably a bit close to each other, we probably should have um, spread out a little bit more. But the problem is with this map, it's a bit of a corridor. Um, unfortunately, we've got some really nasty TDs, but luckily we've got a nice shot in this IS-8. There we go. This is what I love about this tank. It's just the, D the DPMs are really nice. It's not the best. But it's actually quite it's actually really nice. And you can do these little um snapshots like you can see here where well this guy should probably just think about where he puts his tank. There we go, here he goes. It's a pity I couldn't get more kills in this game. Um although we're actually doing quite well for damage wise because look we've already done 4,711 damage and uh, we're going to do a little bit more um, but this game is it really shows you what a team can do when they work together and a shout out to that um, M41 Walker Bulldog there who uh, just lost his life scanning them out um, he did really well this battle in terms of helping out and also he got 4 kills which is really good it just shows how good the tank is. Um, congratulating that uh, fell on a good shot. So we're now just against this um, T95 and this fellow's a bit of a hard nut to crack and uh, yeah I load some skill at this point because it's a T95 I want to make sure I pan with every shot. I mean if, if the if the guy was a good player, at the time during this battle as well, I wasn't running any stats because so I'd just reinstalled the client, so I just jumped into a game just to see if it was working properly, and I got this game. Um, so I didn't have any mods on, I didn't have anything like that, it was just pure gameplay, just pure normal gameplay, um, which wasn't bad. So we're being very cautious here because we are a one shot, I mean, we, if we were a one shot before, so I'm pretty certain it's about 750 average damage, that thing. We're going to go around this way. Um, try and not knock over this tree. We'll hide behind here because the other guys have a lot more health. There's one guy in full health. And I don't really want to risk um, being the first one to die. Especially as, if, as in I could... 
me me dying, uh, even though I may not contribute much, may contribute to us losing this game for whatever reason. Um, unlikely that it is, but you never know. You should always try and stay alive because your one shot could be the winning shot. But we're working this guy over. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm at his angle, and I'm not in a good shot. I really shouldn't be taking these shots because I can't see see him. There's a there's a good shot. He was a no, it wasn't at quite an angle that time. Although we've just stood still far too long. But that happens, and we've done a nice 5,128 damage. That's not bad. Um, this guy's finished. Um, he's got three tanks. Um, sneaking up on him. He's a one shot for. Uh, that would be all of them. Um, as both the E75 and. Oh, what's that? T the, the prot is they both got high caliber weapons. And the other tank, he's he's one shot easily. So there we go. That's it. So as you can see, um fifteen twelve win. Um damage is five thousand one hundred and twenty eight ending at that. Uh, the W and eight we earned was six thousand four hundred and one, which is a really good score. Um, I think that was a really good play there. Although right at the end where I derped out and just sat still, what to get shot? I should have pulled back, or I should have ran forward. Um, but I didn't. I didn't actually think um, he get a shot. I thought I'd get a shot at first, and uh, that's what I was sort of going for. But um, yeah, but. In the end, that wasn't too bad. That was a really good game, and I really enjoyed that one. Um, had sort of like the suspenseful action. Um, one thing to note there, actually, as well, is um, this E100 has the stock 128mm gun. And he didn't do too bad. Yeah. Anyway, let's, um, let's leave it at that, and let's go to the post-game stats. As you can see... This uh, battle was a victory, it was a first class mastery, uh, and we have fire for effect, cause more damage to your vehicles that, yeah, your hit points, sharpshooter, yeah, the, the given, bruiser, yep, that's nice, oh that's pretty dull at the end, confederate, yep, got that, I guess that's saying that we could have got top gun if we killed them, but I don't know. Um, second on XP, the M41 Walker Bulldog was uh, next on that. I looks like I did the most damage. Yes, it is. Um, it's really awesome in a tier nine and a tier ten match. A fired two rounds of gold, which is also awesome. We made 20k, which is not bad. Uh, 22 shots fired, of which 18 hit. Of which 15 penetrated. Um, damage 5,128, which is really awesome. And from a long distance, 1,632. Hits received 4, penetrations 4. We This, this tank's arm is not great, it's a medium tank, not supposed to take hits, so it doesn't really matter. Enemy vehicles damage destroyed. Um, we damaged 10 and we killed 2. Um, be helped by maybe tracking something or spotting something, I'm not sure. Um, we, we travelled four kilometres. Yeah. All in all, not a bad game. Um, a pity we died at the end. I lingered too long. I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, XP. We, uh, with thanks to our premium account, we have 1818 XP, 90 of which becomes free XP, which is nice. We have... With a times three, five thousand four hundred thirty, uh, fifty-four, sorry, which means we get two hundred and seventy to our free XP, which is even better. Well, that's that game. I, the only thing I could have done better, I reckon, in that game was um, not play that last hit, um, but I lingered way too long there. I thought I'd re beat his reload. Um, obviously not. So, but that happens. And um, yeah, we did we did really really well, which is which is really awesome. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you next time and have fun tanking.